Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a mixed haul video. So the first things I'm going to talk about I got from Outlook. Um, I talk about Outlook all the time. It's a members only sale site. They have lots of designers on there. That's where I get a lot of my jeans these days. You know, they have like Rock and Public Joes. They also sold Rock and Public makeup. That's where most of the people got their Rock and Public makeup that did get that. Um, but this time I actually got activewear. And if you guys want to link down to the website, I'll leave my link down in the description box. But the first thing that I got from the website was actually a bunch of activewear. Now, I had never tried this activewear before. I got on one pair of the workout leggings a long time ago, and I really like them. I've been wearing them a lot, especially because before I used to wear my hardtail yoga pants. And the problem with that is that, like, I tripped a few times and I almost, you know, ate it right on the treadmill in front of everyone. So I like the workout leggings just so they don't get in the way. So I got a bunch of new workout gear mainly because, you know, you guys know I like to go to the gym a lot, but also because I'm considering running a half marathon, so I figure if I, like, make it fun for myself to train, then... You know, it'll be kind of more fun if I have stuff, right? Because that's what girls like. So I got a pair of workout leggings. I actually got these in medium because, as you can see, these are really small. They're kind of more like tights. So I would definitely size up because you guys can see these are really small even though they're medium. I also got a pair of workout shorts. You know, you want to keep them a little bit longer for the gym. So they're always appropriate no matter what you're doing. <laughs> So it's slightly v-necked with the cross in the back. And these are all seamless. And I really like these. I mean, they're definitely not a tank top that you would wear every day because you could tell that just with the material that it's, you know, supposed to wick moisture from your skin. So it's not like normal tank top material. But the thing that I really liked about these, and these are really cheap by the way. These are like $7 or something on sale. Um, what I really like about them is one of the things that, you know, I've mentioned this before that I don't really like about my body is that I'm kind of broad. I am just like have a really big rib cage, and so I don't like tank tops that kind of emphasize that and this really leaned out my torso and that's what I really liked I was really surprised by how much leaner it may look so I got a blue one and I got a red one I decided to get really obnoxious ones I guess it was like patriotic day for me so I got a red one and I also got a white one it's still in the bag I haven't tried that on yet I also got three sports bras you guys are gonna be like oh that's weird you got a sports bra but um like, there's nothing sexy about a sports bar, right? We don't have to be all weird about this. So, I really like these. They just had, like, a little bit of removable padding. The padding is kind of like what you would find in just a normal triangle top bikini. It's nothing really thick or uncomfortable. And I got a size small. But the thing that I really like about this is that it's tight, but it doesn't feel tight. It doesn't, like, squeeze me too much. But it's still, like, you know, very close to the body. So, I really like their sports bras. I was really surprised. I got a neat one and a black one and a white one. Really, they're just like bandeau tops, okay? Can we just not be weirded out by it? So the next two things I got were also from Outlook. Um, I got two off-the-shoulder shirts. Now, you guys know I love off-the-shoulder shirts because one of the things I do like about my body is I do like this part, like the collarbone part and the shoulder part. So the first thing I got was this larger sweater. It just looks like this. Even though I know it's not like wintertime or anything, it's actually getting pretty hot. I probably can't wear this at all. But I just like having them around because I know, you know, wintertime's going to come again seasons come every single year and I would want this so on the model this looked really good they actually show like the model stats like the height and the size and everything but she's a lot taller than me and I got an extra small and normally extra small in CNC California really fits me well like I'm wearing an extra small tank top from them right now so normally their extra small fits me really well but this was the first time I'd ever gotten anything from them that was too big and so you're usually supposed to return things within like a certain amount of time um, I forget how long I'll put the return date right here but I actually exceeded that time, so I'm probably just going to blog sale this because I still have the tags on. People always ask me for off-the-shoulder stuff, so I'm probably going to blog sale this because, yeah, it's so soft and super soft on the inside, but I think it would fit a small or a smaller medium much, much better than it fits me. Because, I mean, it fits, but it just doesn't flatter. And then I also got this blue top. You guys saw me wear it in my Sigma video. And I really, really like this one. I mean, generally speaking, I love CNC California. I mean, the things, they're really plain. It's just like American Apparel. They're really plain, but it just flatters the body really well. So the next thing I got, I actually got a while ago, I'm not going to lie. So these are the Sonia Kashuk Full Volume Lashes. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Full Glam ones. So these are the Full Glam one and the Full Volume ones. The reason why I'm showing you guys these is because I feel like a lot of people think that these are much longer than they are. But if I show you in comparison to the Full Glam, these really aren't that long. Um, I added photos of this one to my lash gallery, but as you can see, it's really not that long. So even though they're pretty full, they're not super long, so I think that these could actually be a really good everyday lash, but the band is really, really thick, just like all Sonia Kashuk lashes. And I feel like since it's an everyday lash, I would consider this like an everyday lash. I really feel like the band should be a little bit thinner, but I do like how they look. They're a really good, more natural length lash, because they're really, really short, actually. Yeah, so that was the first thing. These are from Target, of course. So I'm going to cash it. 
So the next thing that I got was the Sigma F80. You guys hear everybody talk about these. Everyone's been super obsessed with this. And I finally caved in and bought one. I didn't get the whole set just because I don't wear foundation that often, really only for videos and, you know, if I'm going out somewhere nice. And so I don't really wear foundation that often, so I didn't buy the whole set. And this was the one that everyone, like, really loves anyways. And so this is what it looks like. It's, like, really, really dense synthetic haired stippling brush. Everyone's, like, super obsessed with this. And I was a little skeptical at first, I'm not going to lie. But I did really like it. Um... It just stipples in the foundation really well. I actually do think that it helps with like oil control like a lot of people have said. Especially because I'm really oily. I mean, to an extent, nothing's going to really like get rid of my oil, you know. I'm just like that oily. But I think it really has helped with that. And I don't know, it just makes everything really neat. Because usually I just use my fingers, but then I can also use this too. I just put some foundation in the back of my hand. And then just kind of stipple but then like really more buff it into your skin and it just gives a really nice foundation application so I'm really impressed with this. So the next thing I got were these Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Color Polishes. Now the reason why I got this is because you guys know I do my own nails, I do my own French manicure and so I was trying to find something that was going to like be a little bit more affordable because I was going to redo that video. Um, I was trying to find a white that was a little bit more affordable so I decided to check out this one because I had used one of my friend Sally Hansen polishes before and I really liked it and I really like the color selection on this range but I don't think these are really good polishes. Um, I really hate the brush. I hate the formula. I feel like it doesn't apply very well. It's kind of goopy. I just think the color selection is really good and the price is really cheap. They're only like two something. So I think that's why people probably like this. But I do like the glitter polishes that they have. They have really pretty glitter polishes. Of course, I would always at least put down a clear coat before you put this on just so it's easier to remove with glitter polishes if you put it directly onto your nail are like horrible to remove. They're disgusting. It's so hard. Um, but I do like the glitter polish, but I definitely didn't like the normal polish. I regret buying it. Kind of sucks. So then I tried to buy an Essie polish because a lot of my friends really like Essie polishes. And this is the first Essie polish I ever tried. I got Marshmallow. I think they also have one that's like Blanc. That's probably the one that I should have gotten. I think that's the name of it. It's like the super white one. But like I said, this is my first Essie polish. And I just had to get Marshmallow because it was the only white that was left in the store. Um, the thing I didn't like about it was that and a lot of people say that Essie polishes are hit or miss, by the way. The thing I didn't like about it was that I just felt like I did see the jelliness that a lot of people like, like the jelly kind of look, but it just wasn't opaque after two coats, and it was really, really streaky. I don't know if it's just this color. A lot of people say it's just, like, hit or miss, but, you know, I don't really want to hit or miss with polishes that are as expensive as these. Like, you know, obviously there's more expensive polishes out there, like Chanel or whatever, but I would rather just stick with one brand that I know is always good and doesn't really disappoint me rather than a brand that I have to like hit or miss with, you know, because nail polish, you can't return nail polish, you really can't, and so it sucks, but, yeah, so, marshmallow, didn't like, definitely not an Essie girl, also another thing that I didn't like about it is that the brush is really, like, it's really small and stiff, I don't know, I really didn't like the brush, I prefer the OPI brush because it's like thick and soft, and I feel like it distributes the product really well, but I feel like this brush is so small that it's kind of hard for it to distribute the product well. I don't know, maybe you're an Essie person, but I'm definitely an OPI girl, now I know. So the next thing I got was China Glazes for Audrey. I was so excited about this because everyone loves this color. It really is like Tiffany's blue. It's so pretty. Inspired by Audrey Hepburn, of course. One of literally the most timeless beauties, I think, ever. But it's so pretty. I actually got this from Sally's Beauty, so if you guys are looking for this, maybe check out Sally's Beauty. I actually see it a lot in beauty supply stores. I'm not quite sure why people aren't able to find it. Whoa, that totally, that totally messed up my lighting. Ooh. So the next two things, I've had, actually had this for a while, but a lot of people ask me to do reviews on this. And I'm going to butcher the name right now, so I'm sorry, but Majolica, Majolica Mallorca? What do people call these? I don't know, but I got these two glosses from them on eBay. So I got colors PK211 and BE210. Now, I just got these because I like normal Shiseido so much, and these are a little bit more affordable than normal Shiseido glosses. Um, so it's like this baby pink and this bronzy color. So this one actually ends up pretty much completely sheer with no pigment whatsoever. This one's slightly pigmented but still pretty sheer. Um, I think that they kind of smell like... Have you guys ever seen those car air fresheners that are like shaped like bugs and hearts and things? And they're plastic and they're really small but they're kind of like jelly-like. That's pretty much what they smell and taste like. Um, wear power is pretty decent. Has a little dough applicator. Like I said, the pink one's a little bit more pigmented, but for the most part, they're definitely pretty much sheer. They just make your lips look super glossy and glassy, like just, just like glass. Like you just bit into a really fatty chicken wing or something and it's just super shiny around your mouth. That's what it looks like. So I probably wouldn't repurchase these um, just because 
don't know, they don't really do anything for me. Last thing that I got was a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And I got the oil-free version and I got it in nude. And the reason why I finally decided to get this is because I've had the sample, the deluxe sample size, for so long. And I really, really like it. Um, I feel like you need at least two coats. So I definitely always do at least two coats. I'll just do one all over my face and I'll just kind of do an extra on my cheek where the freckles are. But... I really, really like this. This is definitely my favorite tinted moisturizer that I've ever tried. Um, part of me didn't want to buy this because I was like, oh, you know, I don't want to. I could just thin out foundation, but I just really love how easy tinted moisturizer is for those days that you do want like a little bit of coverage because, you know, I don't really wear face makeup every day. And so I just wanted, you know, to be able to have something really light that doesn't really feel super makeup-y. Um, I would say the oil control is okay it's definitely not great or anything but i really haven't found anything that can control my oil because i have really really oily skin like you guys can see it's already getting like shiny um, but i have a super oily skin so nothing really controls my oil for that long you'll probably definitely have to you know powder over it but i think people love this because it just looks so natural it looks so pretty and fresh um, i like how it smells but the coverage is really sheer, um, so if you do have like you know a lot of problems with your skin, then I probably wouldn't recommend it, just because the coverage is really sheer. Like if you do one coat, it hardly changes your face at all. That's why I just do two coats right where my freckles are, and it covers them up pretty well. I love how easily it smooths into your skin. I just really like everything about it. Um, you know, I've been kind of on the fence about buying this for a long time because it's really expensive. It's like forty dollars. It's so expensive, um, but I finally decided to give in, just because I don't know. I really really love this stuff. I just think it's so like nice looking I don't know but yeah that's it oh and I also got a bunch of NYX stuff I've never got NYX stuff before by the way I'm not gonna review it right now but this is all the stuff I got I got cream blushes I got lipsticks I'm wearing one of the lipsticks now this is in Sears I also got like a jar concealer which I've heard these are really good um, I got one lip pencil so I could wear with like brighter lipsticks and I got two cream blushes so I'm super excited for that and I'm gonna have swatches and everything soon I think my next video will probably be on a big NYX review. That is all, so I hope you guys enjoyed that big old haul, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.